Hello campers, Kieran Adui, and today we're going to be talking about The Small Mind by Mina Galli. This is a book that was published in the 1960s, which I have never actually heard of. In fact, Sean from Sean the Book Maniac, who I will link below because we're going to do a discussion on this, sent it to me. And it's always great to see a book that is unsung because it has the potential of being something great. It could be something that we can champion around. It could be something that we can get into people's hands so they can read and they can engage with something that is unknown. However, sometimes there's a good reason why books are completely unheard of. And that's because we're terrible. Oh, what was this? This is a book about Joe Jenkins, a miner who wants to earn some overtime. Now the coal has been nationalised, a number of small mines stay in operation and are dotted around the South Welsh Valley, which is where huh, your boy's from. I grew up in a little mining village, I moved to the city, I absolutely hated living in Caerdydd, and then I moved back to a small mining village. And you know what? I'll probably die in a small mining village as well, such as the Welsh life. We're not going to spend too much time with Joe because he dies and as we learn throughout this small novella is that the event that seems simple might be more complex but down in the fictional town of Kilhendra there is gossip, there is mourning, there is reflection and there is sympathy for Joe of what he has gone through as we see many cookie cutter characters role playing. <laughs> I don't know. He just performed. There's no empathy that's built up with Joe. And in fact, even at the end of this novel, everything just kind of peters out. Also, the pseudo mantra that is almost pickaxed at you and excavates its way deep into your soul like it does in the mine. Oh, what is the price of coal? He died for the price of coal. Oh, it's his bloody mind of it. Mina Galli grew up in Abertawi, which is Swansea. So that's about like 10 miles from where... I live and 10 miles from where I grew up. So the people that she's trying to represent, I, I'm quite aware of these people. They are my parents, they are my parents' friends, they are my grandparents, they are my friends' extended family. I, I should be able to identify with these people, but I absolutely could not. Not only does the dialect equally change with every character, we're, sometimes it's pretty spot on. It was quite nice to be able to read in an accent that I have now lost since moving to bloody Kyrdeev. Kyrdeev is Cardiff for all the lay people. If you want to learn about people like me, I don't know why anyone would, but you wouldn't be picking up this. You would be picking up how green is my valley. You, you were, uh, this, this, <laughs> let's forget, forget it ever exists. Just ignore it. I've got to obfuscate there. We shouldn't be... This was boring. This was like nigh on mundane. It was drawn out. And for something that has almost no plot, really like hangs on to the drag nail of there was an incident. And it's to its detriment. But I have to look at the positives here. I'm really glad that this is obscure and like no one's reading this because this was just like a bad book all round. It was, it was boring, it was unsympathetic, and somehow, for a Welsh person, I felt nothing towards it. Oh, apparently I've angered the cat in the street. Oh, Kerrigraphy! 